Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome. Welcome. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Is this loud enough? I can. How come I can barely hear you? I wonder why. Uh, you can probably barely. I don't know why you could probably barely. That's hear okay. Me. I guess I'll just hold it to my. Phone. Let's see here. Oh okay. god. Okay. Just gonna go for it. How about that? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Oh, dude, long time listener, <laughs> first time caller. <laughs> well, thanks for calling, man. How, how's uh, how's uh, lockdown in in Idaho? It, it's weird. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's all just weird because I do already live out on acreage in middle of nowhere, kind of, you know, and so it just kind of feels. I mean, it's kind of what life usually is but it's just it's just weird man everything's just weird so you hey. know but it's it's it, but it, it's a good place to be locked down yeah but but i want to talk about how uh you're using uh, social media marketing to help uh small businesses in the area like uh tapped and stuff yeah oh yeah i mean it's you know it, it was just one of those things where um you just got to do what what you can do. You you kind of look. I mean, to me, that's where it's real brutal. I mean, it's there's, there's obviously a trickle down coming. Um, I had some phone calls today with people um, and just their businesses getting just slaughtered. But watching restaurants like right in front of you, people you know that have made huge investments into restaurants, which are already one of the hardest things to do, and to just see like wow, they're just bleeding. And so it's it costs. It's almost the same amount of money for a restaurant to stay open right now as it is to shut their doors. Wow. So those who are keeping their doors open, doing delivery, curbside pickup, that sort of stuff, they're they're losing the exact same amount of money as if they just shut their doors. Okay. Wow. That's... So, so think about that. So they're, they're doing it to help the employees that they have and to help the community. So, so, I mean, how, how long can these businesses do that for though? Cause they can't do that I forever. Mean, well, and I mean, here's the thing. I think they can, but let's, let's go another week. No one's ordering takeout. Right. I mean, there's this thing where it's like it's really nice the first week or two. Hey, this is cool. Let's support local businesses. Like, but we're all going to run out of money. <laughs> right. Like, it's it's not really cute anymore. It's like, I, I mean, like, I, bro, I, I want to support my local business. But, like, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm probably like most small businesses. Like, I maybe got two months. Maybe. You know, like I don't save money. I mean, nobody saves money. Like that's not what you do as a business. You invest it, you invest every dollar back into what you're doing. I mean, there's no such thing as a business that has all these, as far as, far as small businesses that have all this money saved up and they somehow found a business that they could get a bunch of money to put away. And then they say, hey, now's a good time to start hiring people because we have all this money. Right you always reinvest back into your company. So you're, you're always going month to month, you know? I mean, I don't know any small business that is, that has more than a two, three months reserves. Um, and really that's about a month reserve because if you, once you start bleeding, uh, you, you don't think in terms of, well, let's just go for three months. Like you start making really harsh, you know, really tough decisions. <laughs> but that was my way to help. I was like, you know what? In one sense, it was really cool, though, because I went down there and those those are good friends of mine. And I've been bugging them forever. Like, You got to keep doing more social media. You got to keep doing more. Went down there, shot a couple videos. And then they said, hey, can you come back? Would you just spend some time with us? Maybe just teach us. And I went down there, taught them. Now they're on their own. You know, you teach a man how to fish, you know, went in there and just showed them. Here's how to shoot. Here's what you do. Here's how you take pictures. Here's how you edit, and now they're doing it. So when we get to the other side of this, whatever that looks like, they're going to be more equipped than ever to be actually promoting their company. I just don't know what it looks like to get there. Yeah, yeah. So, 
I mean, because because I put in the same offer at my church, and I said, look, if there's anybody here with like a small local business, um, I I want to just make videos for you guys uh, to help you, just give, at least to bring some sort of awareness uh, to 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 what you're doing. And I had a few people take me up on that offer, so th- so that's exciting. Uh, and, but then of course uh, one of the one of the companies I worked for uh, two years ago, uh, they completely laid everybody off. So. I mean, they're, they closed up wow. shop. So it's like, I mean, I mean, they were, they were bringing in, you know, millions and they were just like, no, <laughs> well, you wow. know, we'll, we'll just reduce the staff to as small as we can. And, you know, all the clients left and, you know, I, I th- those clients saw social media advertising as a, as a secondary and not a primary, which I think is obviously a mistake. Um, especially during this time when everyone's at home. But <laughs> yeah, and again, but I don't even know. I mean, you know, obviously, I've I've been the guy screaming about all this stuff, but this is not. But this is not what you know. Everyone's like, well, everyone's at home looking at their phones and stuff. But yeah, everyone's looking at their phones, freaked out. Yeah, like right. like you've got all these guys who are like, now's the time to sell. Everyone's on their phones. Like, dude, no one's no <laughs> one's looking at their phone, being like, look at this new pair of Jordan. Like, I have no <laughs> idea. Like, that's true. Everyone's man. looking at the. Everyone's looking at their phone, looking at the body count. Everyone's like, "Wow, <laughs> it doubled today!" And, and you know, and, and you got all these like, like just a mindset. Like now is when we sell. We got a captive audience. It's like, no, man, you got to start communicating right now. And there's there's no playbook for this. I keep saying this is a this is a broken play, and a, and in the middle of a broken play, people are scrambling. Um, and this was the first this has kind of been the first week for me personally where it's not that it's normal but you know and i you know i was listening to everything you were saying and you know the thing though is i mean you and you always have such a great take on the kind of you know what you were yelling is the alex jones stuff and all that but he, you know here's the thing um you know we don't as, I, I really as, i really try hard not to be alex oh, jones I know. but oh, it I know. seems well, like every single day it's just getting easier and easier just to go into that cave. Yeah. I mean, I've got it. I mean, I, and I think I've commented maybe on some of your posts, but like I've got kind of a different take on this. But but my take has n- by no means takes away the fact that I'm freaking out. Like, so I don't want anyone to think like, oh, I'm sitting here all cool and calm. Dude, I'm, I'm tripping. OK, mm-hmm. like I'm tripping trying to figure out. Okay, how many months can I go? What's going to happen? Even if I locked down, I mean, huge blessing had another, you know, I mean, I had probably about a 50% cut, worked back up, found ways to renegotiate, brought in a new client. However, if they start shutting down states, I can't get to them. So that'll be a whole other issue. Right. Right. So we're not there yet. I mean, some states are, I think. But so if that happens, that's that's going to be weird. But here's here's my silver lining. I figure may as well have one because everyone's got an opinion on this stuff. Here's here. Here's my overall take on it. as brutal as this is going to be. And it's going to be brutal, like brutal. Um, someone said to me, like, you know, something about Trump. And, and I was like, look, like. I thought this is the guy that had all the bankruptcies and came back. Like, yeah, he's, he's he's absolutely the guy I want right now because we're about to go bankrupt. We're already bankrupt. I mean, we're not bankrupt. We own America. Like we could sell New Jersey and be out of debt. <laughs> That's true. We could sell New Jersey and be out of debt. It's that. Who wants New Jersey? And boom, we're done. <laughs> I know what Right. Well, no, but now China would buy it. But yeah, see, here's China the thing. Would. Yeah, they would. Right. They would have. But see, here's the deal. I really believe, and I get I think my my take here is as dumb as anybody else's, but we're gonna get destroyed. Trump's the absolute best person to deal with bankruptcy. He's gonna say to China, we don't owe you any more money, we're done. You completely destroyed our economy. We don't owe you all those bonds, all that. No, done. It's ours. We're not paying you. And then China's going to go, well, you can't do that. And they're going to go, yeah, but we just did it. And they're going to go, yeah, but on the world market. And they go, no, no, there's no world market. You screwed everybody. Mm -hmm. And so no one's going to back them. We're going to bring such a massive amount of infrastructure and building. That's a whole other issue. But we're going to bring it all back to America. 
And now this kind of unique isolationist concept that everyone said, like, you can't think that way, you can't. I think it's going to be a reality in regards to how it's going to be rebuilt. And so I could either be super bummed out, and on one level I am from a business standpoint, you know, everyone's doing their heart check and figuring out like, you know, am I really asking for forgiveness of my sins? What's going on? I thought I was doing it right. I thought I was going weekly, <laughs> communion. I thought we were down. Now I have to do like fasting. Now it's not good enough. Now we're like, okay, like, you know, everyone's like scram. It's like, okay, so we get through all this. <laughs> right. We get through all this and I think it's a reset. I think it's such a, I, I think the reset is gonna be mind blowing. I think education is done. I think what's happening right now and what it's forcing people to do, the free market of being like, well, okay, well I'm online now, we're all online. Okay, we're all homeschoolers online. And then you're online and you're like, wait a minute, so I have access to anybody? Right. That's I can right. learn anything from anybody now what people are getting a taste of actually a certain kind of freedom that they didn't know they had so as draconian as all this seems um a i'm in the camp that i don't think government conspiracy that people aren't smart enough to pull this sort of stuff off <laughs> You can't you can't manufacture this. Like this right. is not the kind of thing you yeah, can no. accomplish, right? right? So it's just idiots walking into it and then <laughs> trying to then figure out how they can take advantage of it. Like right. no one's smart, but everyone's like, oh well now that we're here, it's like, right. come on. Right. Um and you know, because you, you you'd have to back it up to then Trump was the whole way there's a conspiracy, they got Trump in place. Like you can't no. So What's happening now, though, and I think this is the irony, and I think this, this is the sort of like silver lining, is people are tasting a certain kind of freedom that they've actually never tasted. I mean, I thought people were praying for government schools to close down. Guess what? You don't get to choose how God does it. Right. That's right. Like, like this is like... <laughs> Well, I, I, let me just tell you, let me just, just for clarification, I have never not once complained that the government schools have shut down. Yeah, yeah I know. This. No, That's believe. the one thing. <laughs> no, I see you, I, I see you pouring out a toast every night. Oh every yeah. Night. I was like, Hey, another day. <laughs> I, I mean, even if you've watched, I don't know if you've watched like a lot of the late night hosts, they're live streaming from home and they're using their kids in it. Uh, right. and, and it's yeah. beautiful. Well, they're, and, 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 and they're looking over like, I didn't know I had a son. Yeah. Like, they're like, like they're realizing like really like, right this is you know like it's you know and so there's this, <laughs> the, there is a certain amount of freedom that's actually being injected into this whole situation that is um really interesting um and again i'm seeing people you know i mean i'm talking to business owners and i'm talking to people and you know what as horrible as it is it's also a good time where they're like, you know, there's about 10, 15% of people we kind of wanted to get rid of and either they kind of got rid of themselves or now we can just get rid of them. Like it's a, it's a, I was watching tombstone last night. I haven't seen tombstone in forever. And my <laughs> wife and I wanted to watch it and show and show the kids and trying to figure out which parts we're going to like fast forward through and stuff. And, um, there's a part where he, uh, I feel like I'm Gary DeMar now. I'm like quoting a movie to make my point, <laughs> right. but the, uh, <laughs> But but he um, you've you've got Wyatt Earp and he's asking Doc Holliday why like the young hot gunslinger like why you know like why does he have this this hatred in him and he says there's this hole and in, inside of him and it's never enough and all this stuff and, and anyways when like they basically go after the bad guys and they just start you know just destroying everyone you know someone says you know there's 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 a line in there about that it's not it's not revenge it's it's a reckoning. You know, mm. and there there seems to be a reckoning happening. But the way God tells stories, like it depends where you're at, right? And on, on how you're experiencing that, you know. And but something is being reckoned right now. And, you know, I have no idea how to get through it except like I gotta get up every day and I gotta keep working. And you can't panic in front of people you can't panic in front of your kids right like like no you're not allowed to you know and i I, and i think the only other personal upside is when all this started i was like the the only selfish thing i kind of experienced was so so everyone's panicking no one 
thinks they have a job anymore or everyone's been fired and no one knows how they're going to pay their rent next month. And I was like, wait, so everyone's like me now? <laughs> like, I right. have never felt so normal. Right. Yeah. Like we're all a bunch of losers now. Well, I like what you said. You said, you said, who knew that uh, actually going into work would be the most punk rock thing you could do, right? Was it something you said like that? Yeah. And yeah, I, because everybody's yeah. working from home now. Yeah. And I, like I said, I mean, I, I got to be careful. This is, this was funny. I got to be careful what I say, which is who would have ever thought this is like, <laughs> because I've got to make some decisions next week about what I'm going to do on some projects. Now, you know me, I want to document everything. But then all yeah. of a sudden, I'm, are, are, are people going to turn on me like, you left your house. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you kill my, you, you're killing people. Like, like, you know, if a man doesn't work, neither let him eat. Right. Like, and I do not believe, I mean, I even looked, I got an email from the government. They're like, you're a small business, blah, 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 this and that. And I looked at, at my qualifications and I qualify for 10, up to $10,000. They're just like, going to give you lo or a loan or what is that? Yeah, they just give it to you. I don't know if it's true, <laughs> but, but, but my point is, is $10,000, that's it? Right. Like, what do you, right. What do you, what do you right. mean? And, and it was for people with like a hundred and under employees, like, oh, 10 grand. Like, first of all, I don't know anyone's gotten their checks yet. Right. Yeah. And then what, we're already going to be in month two or three. I mean, again, it's like running a business. You know what it's like to run a business. I mean, you go into debt kind of right away. You get some clients, but you're not getting paid for 30 to 60 days. Mm-hmm. And you're kind of just like, that's what we're doing right now. So I just don't know what this looks like in a month. But I guess my, I guess what I was going to say was the thing that I'm banking on is Americans do not have it in their DNA to not work. Right. That's like, true. We do. Everyone else does. I mean, I've been to Europe. I mean, they... They're, they're done at three o'clock. They're drinking wine. It's great. It's fun. You know, like their work, you know, they get up They're like Americans just, we don't have it in our DNA, you know, to be, to just stop working, you know? And so I'm kind of giddy because I think it's going to create a weird black market if they keep it going. And it's like, I would never have felt like, I'm like, all right, well now I'm that guy in North Korea, like selling cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, all right. Like I can't, I can't just sit and do nothing. Right. And so I don't think people, I think people are going to get real antsy. Um, and I think those who do are going to do. And I think once that starts, it's going to be real hard. Like you said, unless someone gets shot, like, oh my goodness, like, unless, unless that happens, you know, like it could go either way, but I just don't think, you know, again, ultimately Trump is still standing up there going like, I ain't wearing a mask. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, He's, like, he's still the guy going like, I'm not going to follow the rules. Right. That's, that's a, yeah, he's, he's, I think he's, I think he's doing a good job. Um, it's, it, it'll just be interesting to see what happens. I mean, they've already pushed back the, the DNC convention till August to hide Biden as long as they possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I no. mean, there's some really funny thing. I mean, there's some funny things happening. If you just like, if, if you, if you think, if you forget for a moment that you're going to be broke in 30 days, like, there's, some re <laughs> there's some really funny things like happening, you know, like, like everyone got on Cuomo for a moment, like Cuomo, we got to get Cuomo. And then he kind of started dressing up and doing his hair. Then everyone like realized, wait, that's his brother on CNN. And right. it got all weird. And like, then they're yeah. like, everyone's like, wait a minute. Like, then people start running the numbers and everyone's like, wait a minute. Like if we're out of ventilators, how come we're not out of ventilators? Like you just, you start doing some weird common sense things like, wait, so have we run out of ventilators yet? Like, right. I didn't think we had that. Like there's just, it's just weird things. But again, everyone's watching, everyone's listening. And, and, and I think people are putting the pieces together. I, I don't know what it's going to, assemble when they put it together but people are watching people are listening and it's it, 
both i mean both sides right now are kind of over it you know except for that really like again i don't know anyone that's into it right now even all my liberal friends they're they're not into this right so i don't know again and and again so on the conspiracy side i think there's opportunists who would take advantage of this but i mean again government's already taken enough of people's money you know like we're already in enough debt. Let's print our own money. Like, 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 whatever. Like, we're already so far <laughs> just into the monopoly it. Yeah, game. Well. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but that's the thing. It's like everyone's like, "This is the final straw." Like, you, you know what the debt is, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we could take a little you know? bit more at this point. Yeah, <laughs> you know, at least at least people are actually kind of getting the check, and it's kind of fun for a month. I just don't know what two or three looks like. And, you know, I just, I'm just like, look, I was like, all right, well, I just got to keep hustling. Just, I just got to keep hustling, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, man, thanks for joining. Hey, man, I I got the app. As soon as you said it, I hit the link. I went to the app store. I'm like, I'm not going to make it. I I can never install apps. I'm on. (laughs) This is great. So hopefully other people will jump in and, um, Marcus, you know what a big fan I am of, of what you're doing and and, and and how you do it. I um I, th- I think we live in a time when people don't give credit. They kind of steal it. And I, I always tell people, I know you're sick of me saying it, but this whole journey for me, even into social media and being a creative agency, I, I, I still go back to that moment when we were doing Unstoppable with Kirk and his Facebook page got shut down and yeah. we were all ready. We were all ready to make phone calls and yell at Facebook and all this stuff. And, and you walked out of the office there and, and you said to me, well, we should just lean into it and actually embrace and do a campaign that he got shut down. And it was like, I really believe that moment for me was a paradigm shift and I think it it laid the foundation for what I'm doing, you know, seven, eight, eight years later now of un, of really thinking of how do we use these platforms to communicate. So props to you. I, I, I love how you think in these situations. And so I'm watching you so I can steal as much as possible. Yeah, no, <laughs> no problem, man. I, I like this. uh the 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 live streaming thing is, is something I'm I'm really oh you're on it right. dude like we watched yeah. I, I was telling Saul dude when 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 you do the debates man and and you do the democratic <laughs> debates I watch with my kids I was like think about that I don't watch the news and I sat down with my kids and watched you do the live stream on the democratic debate like that's how <laughs> kids are being educated now yeah. by you yeah that's awesome man that that's really great I do miss. The lack of debates that's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's I think one you're of the things. Plenty coming up. <laughs> yeah, I think you know, but the, you know, there's always political content and stuff to talk about, uh, especially in this atmosphere for sure. So, but anyway, we'll man, do thank, it, man, thanks. Uh, Stay anything on, you, man. Blood any, you, brother. Any, anything you want to plug? Uh, you know, just right now. Uh, well, you know, I, I would plug a platform, which would be if you're not on LinkedIn. Just get yeah. on LinkedIn. Just, yeah, get, I don't care what you're doing, who you are. LinkedIn is not a place for job resumes. LinkedIn is Facebook seven, eight, nine years ago. The organic free reach you get on LinkedIn immediately is mm-hmm. is it's just where people want to be. So I, I want to give value to people. Whoever you are, get back on LinkedIn. It's not a joke. Yeah, I agreed. I agree with you on that one. So And you post good All stuff right, on there too. All right, man. Good, man. Thanks, Dave. Love you, man. Be good. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.